For the last eight months, Brian Bergen has not just been living in limbo, he's been living in fear. I'm just scared. I really, if I'm going to die, I don't want to drown. Today, his home in North Lismore hosted a bevy of state and federal politicians who delivered the news he and thousands of others have been waiting to hear. This is the biggest of agreement of its kind ever in response to a very significant event. The flood damaged more than 6,000 houses and another 1,000 commercial properties. An $800 million package will see an estimated 2,000 homes in seven Northern Rivers Council areas eligible for funding. There's a voluntary buyback scheme for those in the highest risk zones, individual grants of up to $100,000 for house raising and $50,000 for retrofitting homes with more resilient materials. That will ensure that for generations to come, uh, the great places like Lismore continue to be strong in the future. Graham Askey's home is just metres from the Wilsons River. It flooded in February, but he's not keen to move. We would not be eligible, even. But even if we were, we would not be applying for it. Vicky Finlay lives nearby with an adult son who has complex health needs. She says there should have been more consultation. It's clearly a package that is um, like, this is what you can have, this is what you get, fit into it. The last thing this region needs is a mass exodus of people fleeing the flood zone. The state government has pledged to spend $100 million buying flood-free land that's suitable for residential development and close to existing infrastructure. The challenge then will be to find the tradies and materials to get the building done. Bruce McKenzie, ABC News, Lismore.